chunky tutorial for you guys. If you guys want to see how I got it, just keep on watching. All right, so I'm starting off with my eyebrows, and this is my NYX Micro Brow Pencil in the shade Brunette. So I'm just combing them out with the spoolie end, and then taking the other end and just shading them in. So where is my eyebrow supposed to start? And then I just go from there. Then we we'll just scribble back and forth, and then for the ends, I just Start at the top and blend downwards. I don't try to shape them too much. I don't really need to right now for this look. And then blend them out again. So I'm using my No Problem Primer from Touch on Soul. So this is my Maybelline Fit Me Foundation Matte Plus Poreless in the shade 110 Porcelain. I'm just gonna put that on my beauty blender. And blend it in and down my neck. Next is my Rimmel Wake Me Up Concealer, and this is in the shade 01 Ivory. So next I'm gonna set my face with my Kat Von D Locket Lock Setting Powder in the shade Translucent. So next I'm gonna bronze and contour my face as I normally would. This is my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the shade Global Glow. I'm just using my Big Joe and Joe Australia fan brush to bronze up my face a little bit. Next for contour, this is my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit in Light to Medium. And I'm just using the shade Fawn to contour my skin a little bit. This is my Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer in Original. So, using my Tarte Charlie palette, I'm going to start with the shade Super Mom. Going in with this same palette again, I'm gonna be taking the shade Wonder. Unicorn brush, I'm gonna take Wonder and just buff it into my crease to get that transition shade. This is my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Black Bean and I'm just applying this on my lid. Line that lash line as well. I'm going to blend this out a little bit. So I'm going to blend this out with my e.l.f. contour brush. I'm going to blend it underneath my lash line as well. So next, on my sparesource.ca crease blender brush, I'm going to take the shade Fashionista and blend that in to the crease. And on top of all the black to set it all in. On my very small Sony Kashyyyk number 107 brush, the little detailing brush, I'm going to be taking the shade Fashion Step and I'm going to draw little lines from the middle of my eyes, so looking straight where my pupil is coming down. Now I'm going to take my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil and just put it on the brush. I'm going to draw a tiny little line on the other eye. So now we're going to do the exact same thing but going upwards. So over my eyebrow. Okay, so for my eyebrows, I'm going to kind of dust black eyeshadow in them. As a clown, normally they have a red nose. So I'm going to take my Tarte Assist Double Take Eyeliner, the liquid side. And draw a little circle. And I'm gonna take my Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in the shade Outlaw. And I'm gonna take a little brush. This is my Real Techniques Accent Brush. I'm going to fill in the circle. We are going to take this lipstick and put it on. I'm going to take this red and put an angled brush. Now I'm going to add some lashes. So these are my Quo Glamour lashes. These are number 806. And I'm just going to put those on and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I got my lashes on and it is the next step. I got jewels. I use it from the dollar store. A little bit of eyelash glue on each of these rhinestones. I 
right, you guys, and this is the final spooky clown look. Thank you for watching, guys. Bye!